Now you're gonna shoot a rocket before me, before I can shoot you, but your rockets don't seek. And I can take you out relatively easily. Right. Welcome back everybody to Know-It-All DM Entertainment. I'm Know-It-All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. Hanging out, playing Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 12 Experimental. Hooray. So between last episode and this episode, I haven't done a whole lot. I just went ahead and I started building out this area. This is where my uh, the storage is going to be, the uh, cargo area. And I've got a little corridor that comes up this way. This is where we're going to be building the uh, habitation. And then the garden will be over here. The sick bay will be in here. And then out this direction is going to be where we are going to have our uh, hangar bay for uh, our larger small vessels to land into the bunker. And uh, for now, I just extended this a little bit, but there was an update and they added to the, uh, let's see if I can pull up the map. Uh, they added in the, uh, uh, what do you call them? The, the planets, they added titanium. That's what I'm trying to find. They added titanium specifically to the moon. Uh, and as you can see, it's got, you know, its own little titanium symbol. So um, I basically just deleted the templates file since I haven't been to the moon yet. And it uh, refreshed the templates for my scenario. Um, now we only have one barren moon in our system right now. And uh, that that's unfortunate because none of the other moon types right now anyway have titanium so all we have in our system right now is the starter moon um in our multiplayer that frag and i are doing we have like five other other barren moons so we have a good amount of titanium in that but uh in this it looks like we just have a little bit of a titanium so uh, uh we're gonna have to go and uh and worry about getting titanium from there but when we do we can finally upgrade this. Um, uh, we can upgrade the uh, extender and uh, and uh, get our base, which is currently overtaxed, uh, up to the next tier. And honestly, I think I want to go ahead and try to do that because uh, we're at tier one. We need to get to tier two. Um, so that we're not super overtaxed and we may eventually go to tier three, but what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to be putting the, uh, extenders inside here. And what I'll end up doing is, uh, for like to start with, I'm going to put the first extender like over here or maybe like right here. And then we can, uh, angle the extenders once we have the, uh, like put one like here and then one there for the next level. And then if we have to go, we can go this way, that way, this way, and then that way and get all of the extenders in the little area down there. But for the time being, we're just going to upgrade to the next one upgrade. And really, I don't need to go to the moon because all I really need for that extender is a couple more flux coils. And in order to get those, I can just travel to the uh, uh, the Titan ship that we've already discovered and do a little bit of looting from there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to come on up into the bunker uh, upper level and uh, right through here we have our cargo pod and let's just do this, bring it up and out like so and now we can try to find the titan uh there's the crashed titan mid um let me mark the crashed titan front uh there's the front i have it marked 
let me just uh, edit this, make it an actual waypoint. Uh, that way I can see the Titan front. And we might as well go ahead and hit the Crash Titan mid while we're over here. Um, Cause it is, it's, it's right there. It's not too far away. There's a rocket drone over there. We're gonna have to deal with. Uh, we'll deal with that as well. We'll probably wanna park a little further away. Ooh, there's a Prometheum deposit. We're probably going to want to park a little further away and then uh, shoot out the rocket drone with our assault rifle. But to start with right now, we're going to come over here to the front where we were before. And we are going to uh, try to salvage some of the... Uh... Can I even get through here? No? Okay. Uh, we're going to try to salvage some of the... Uh, hold on. Some of the thrusters. So the thrusters are our primary goal right now. So, um, and I'm going to salvage them, not retrieve them. Oh, that gives us titanium plates. That gives us steel. All right, let's see if we can find these thrusters. Now, this is the front part, which is odd because that means the uh, engineering section is in the front. But if I'm not mistaken, there's at least one actual thruster on here somewhere, um, if not more. Might have to come a little further forward. There's one right there. All right, nine oscillators, but no, no, uh, what do you call them? The, the little circular things that we're looking for, flux coils. Um, let's see. I don't see any more thrusters right now. There may be some underground, but that was the only one I knew immediately of. Um, there might be more on the mid, so we'll check out the mid and see if we can find more thrusters on the mid. Um, yeah, because I'm not seeing any more on the front part. Um, now, before, when this was the other wreck, other Titan, the original, not the original original, but the original broken apart Titan, um... There was a whole lot of thrusters and such, but they didn't didn't give you as uh, rare materials. So, um, and I think all these have already been looted. Just figured I'd go ahead and take them apart and see. Those have not been looted, so maybe these will have something worth. That had some pretty good stuff. That had uh, the Sathium things. Now, there's probably at least one, uh, uh, what do you call it? At least one... Uh, alien container on here that I have not yet found. I know I found one, but there's probably another couple. Let's just grab that. I know I got the food out of that. Um, let's see up here. Okay. Already got that. Okay. And through here, I've already salvaged most of this. Uh, what was this back here? Another capacitor. That's just hardened steel. Now, some of this are, is alien blocks, which would be nice to salvage for the Xenosteel. 
but I'm not going to worry about them just yet. So this would be nice. Cobalt alloy and such. I honestly don't know if I had taken the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit from it, taken the oxygen out of that or not, but let's see, what do we have back here? Anything that looks okay. I don't see anything else that looks like it's worth salvaging. So, okay. Um, I think it's probably, let's take a quick look at this. This just looks like it's, well, it's got a headlight on it. This looks like it's just like some sort of wing or something. Um, here's another one. Does this also have a headlight on it or? No, it looks like it had a thruster on it. Maybe that was, should have been a headlight, I don't know. Um, okay. I think that is everything worth salvaging off of this. Um, I could be wrong. Oh, those are just hardened steel blocks. All right, not worrying about those. Um, if uh, or when I decide it's time to upgrade the uh, the bunker's exterior, I will be coming back here to get these these uh steel plates the uh titanium plates but in the meantime i'm not going to worry about that that's just going to take up space that i could otherwise use let's head to the titan mid part which is this direction i believe yes that way now there was yep rocket drone and you can now ping rocket drones with your, uh, with your, uh, what do you call it? The scanner. Um, let me move all this into here. Now there are some spiders. I don't want to worry about the spiders. Okay, I don't want my ship to be taking damage, so I am going to land this right over here. I'll take out some spiders with the shotgun here. Okay, that's one. There's another one over here. Uh-oh, I hear a raptor. Come on over here, raptor. You can't take out the shotgun. Okay, um, let me ping for that rocket drone. Now... If I can get the rocket drone to notice me. That's actually a good, decent ways away. I could have come a little pl bit closer, probably. But I want it to see me and come over here so I can take it out. There we go. Now, you're going to shoot a rocket before me, before I can shoot you, but... Your rockets don't seek. And I can take you out relatively easily. No oscillators there. Okay, let's get back over to our cargo pod. Now we can investigate the midsection unabated. Okay. All right. Any other in the area? Not that I see. Okay, so 
Now the mid part we can actually fly into to avoid drones. So we're here. I found the Titan mid part. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to dig my way down like I did with the front part. There we go. Okay. This part is showing low power positioning signal, current, blah, 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 blah. There's a current coming from over here. So. All right. I don't see any uh, enemies. Let me go ahead and I'm going to reconnect to this. Like so. Is this just, yeah, that just goes into the ground. Okay. I doubt there's any enemies in these parts, but I didn't want to risk it. So it's up there. I'm guessing this is how you access it. The data pad you found showed some strange scratches, which look similar to the symbols in the alien tower. What alien tower? Uh, someone also wrote the words Xerax, Talon, and Ancient. The data pad is severely damaged and the info are incomplete. Info is incomplete, but... Um, Possibly there is more info on the top, on the bridge, in the back part, and the engine component compartment of the Titan. Okay, well, looks like there was some mysterious scratches that looked like things from an alien tower that I've never discovered because they removed the alien tower from the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, from the game. Okay. So I guess it's time I go around and try to salvage some stuff. Okay. This may have a thruster assembly on it. So, um, 286, just give me everything that's in there. One oxygen bottle, cause that's 200. Um, this might give me a good amount of stuff. I don't know. Ah, decent. Okay. Now, let's... Ah, yes. Here we go. Okay, nothing there. Not there. I'm trying to get a uh, flux coil out of it. I don't know, do these small ones need flux coils or give flux coils? I don't know. Um, see, there's a shower. <laughs> um, let's see, are there any actual thrusters on this side? No. Wait, there's one. That's a medium one. There's some flux coils. All right, let's check over here. Looks like these were all destroyed. Okay. All right, well, that's, uh, I got what I came here for, which was uh, flux coils. So it looks like it's time to head back to the base. Then 
Um, where is Zabunka? There is Zabunka. Okay. Now, the rear part is actually in Polaris territory here. So, um, I should just be able to do that. And I want to make sure this can be seen. Because we're going to want to go and get that as well. Alright, we are back at the bunker. We can go ahead and move everything. Let's see, the bunker uh, constructor inventory. We can move all this into the constructor inventory. Um, and that, and that, and then I can put these in the fridge. Um, I might want to just hold the medicine injection on me. Um, and then the bunker other cargo box with a lot of stuff in it. We can just uh, put all this extra stuff in. I can put that on my player. Okay. Now I am getting a little bit low on food. I'll probably deal with that once we get this uh, uh, thing settled with the CPU. Okay. So let's come on over here and I should be able to make CPU extender tier two. Hooray. Now, while we're waiting on that, there is a gold deposit on this planet. It's very small, has 100% ore left. I doubt that would be enough to upgrade... Uh, let me waypoint that. I doubt that would be enough to upgrade to the next tier. Um, let's see, base. CPU extender. Where's the CPU extender? No, I saw it. There it is. Uh, it'd probably not be enough to upgrade to this. So we'd need four large optronic bridges and the four large optronic bridges. We can't even make in this. I'd need an advanced constructor. So, which is, let's see. Um, okay. Yeah. Advanced constructor would definitely be required to upgrade. Uh, so once I get to level 10, I'm going to upgrade my generators and the advanced constructor um, and probably the fuel tanks as well. I'll probably put some fuel tanks in here, probably on either side of the uh, solar capacitors. Because um, right now, even though I don't need the uh, the the generators and such, they're nice to have as a backup if for some reason the solar capacitors get worn, like get uh, depleted. And there we are. We have the extender. And like I said, I'm just gonna put this right here for now. Let's see. Um, rather than have it like that, let's do this okay like that and then we can yellowize it like so very nice and so now we've got a cpu extender which means we are at a hundred percent functioning capacity now hooray um and so we are at tier two for the uh CPU and at current we are only using half of the necessary because we've got a hundred a little bit more than half of the uh, the use of that so um, In any case that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw uh, next episode we're probably going to be expanding I might go ahead 
and do the cargo off camera because it's not that big of a thing but we'll probably be expanding out this way and making our habitation area and it's probably going to go out and over that way and then this is going to be our garden and the garden is going to be probably i'm probably going to have four plots of nine in the garden and uh so we're probably going to do the um habitation medical bay and the garden in the next few episodes um, but i wanted to go ahead and get our cpu to par before doing that now that we've got a uh cargo space in here i'm gonna go ahead off camera and move everything uh from this bunker up here uh, and move everything from not this bunker from these cargo boxes uh, move this cargo box and the refrigerator and the uh all this down there and i'll probably throw a bed down there too so i can get rid of this and maybe in the clone chamber the bed and the clone chamber um which uh yeah clone chamber and the bed so in any case can i make uh no i cannot make ham i need more spice i'll be happy when this garden gets up and running but in any case, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit the like button. Um, we are still more than 10 days away from being attacked. So, yeah. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the, in the comment section down below. And uh, if you want to see more Empyreon Galactic Survival Alpha 12 Experimental, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Know It All DM, and as always... Y'all have a good day now.